Otitoju Debora is still cleaning in her house days after the downpour. Clothes, books, furniture, electronics, and many valuables have been washed away by the flood. Collapsed fence, cracked buildings are some of the signature left behind by the deluge. We are not even talking about property anymore because I want to think that it's God, me and my son. It's only God that helps so us. Someone have to hang on window carrying baby flood inside the room. But the foam was and the foam was flowing on top of the water. It's scattering every a lot of things, but we just thank God for life. Next to Deborah's house, Nkechi Obi's apartment, the family here is battling to sell vital documents soaked by the water. Furniture, household appliances have all been destroyed. More disturbing to the residents are some of their vehicles that were overrun by the flood. Mechanics can be seen working hard to bring engines back to life. The situation is the same in many houses on this street. Clothes and shoes spread on the fence waiting for the sun to dry them up. Everything here explains the pains and losses some residents of Trademore Estate passed through in the last few days. Trademore is just one of the over 70 residential estates in this axis of Lugbe in the Federal Capital Territory. Some other estates were also affected by the flood, though with minimal impact. This is why the safety of this estate is of importance to government agencies. The Public Complaints Commission visited the affected areas. The commissioner representing the FCT blamed some residents for putting structures to distort the flood plain. His position is not much different from that of the Ecological Project Office. The teams from the Ecological Project and from the Office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation are also on ground to assess the level of damage caused by the flood. They all blame human and natural factors for the situation. If you check right here, we have also seen that there are houses on waterways. And there is agent of government that is saddled with the responsibility to ensure that these houses are not there. Because in FCT here, before you build any house, you must first have an allocation. So we want to find out who gives allocation on these houses that are on waterways. If you just take by my left, there is a fence here. So people are trying to forcefully build here. Who gives them this allocation? We can talk about three critical things. First, developers. I think there are issues with some of these developers. You know, uh, what they have been doing here, we have observed it. We will discuss with FCDA, that particular area. Then the occupants of those estates. You know, a lot of dumping of uh, refuse and waste all over there. I think it's also an area that we need to also sensitize people so that uh, such things can be better managed. And then thirdly, uh, you can see that some buildings were marked there by FCD since 2022. I think there is a need, you know, to have a conversation with the uh, occupants of those places so that the right thing will be done and then uh, future occurrence will be avoided. Most of the flooding is not associated with Trademore. Trademore is just a corridor for the, for the flood. The flood is coming from places like Lokogoma, Piakasa and all of that. Then of course, um, all those areas requires proper channelization because um, and then all the arteries and tributaries have to be widened and deepened and properly controlled. The narrative has also been that some houses in the Trademore estate are illegal structures obstructing the waterways, but some residents disagree. The place was fully built by a developer, funded, funded by Federal Mortgage Bank, a government agency. I didn't buy directly from the developer. I bought from Federal Mortgage Bank. I, I assessed my mortgage and it was paid to the developer, however that works. But it surprises me to, say, to hear that Federal Mortgage Bank did not do their, their due diligence and these structures are illegal. I'm surprised. And funds were disbursed to the developer. So the narrative is wrong. We never built. I've been here since that time. I've never built one house. People have been here. 
They never built one house. We keyed into existing structures. And this flood, let me also add, this flood did not start until about three, four years ago. We've been here 11 years. As residents of Trademore Estates are grappling with their present reality, fact that the entrance of the estate is this car belonging to the lecturer is said to have lost his life in the flood, a sad reminder of Friday's flood. As the blame game continues, construction is still ongoing along the flood path. One thing is sure, more danger looms if urgent steps are not taken to promptly address the situation before the next rains.